Well, Martin, first chance we've had to speak to you. Um, how are you settling in as assistant manager here? Yeah, it's been great. Obviously, things happen quickly in football, um, so it was a, a quick change around. Um, and since we've come in, it's been great. The boys have been excellent. The work on the pitch has been good, and, and hopefully we can continue that. Is it difficult to contend with when you when you change clubs and you dropped into a, a whole new environment? I think you get used to it. I think in football, things change so quickly and can change so quickly. So. I think it's just one of those things, and when, when it happens, you kind of you just go into that mode, and, and you get on with it, you get through it, um, and, and it's a different club, but it's the same principle, same kind of ways of working for yourself. So that doesn't change in terms of the way you want to try and do things. So I think it's just kind of one of those things in football that happens. What have you found? What have you made of the, of the squad of players that you're working with? Yeah, it's a good squad. Obviously, there's there's a lot of quality in the squad as well. Um, we've got quite a few injuries at the minute, so it'll be good to get everybody back and on the pitch. Um, but in terms of their effort, application on the training pitch and games has been first class so far, so hopefully that continues. How valuable is this period without having a game for you and Alex to, to, to get into the, into the squad? Yeah, it's been great. Obviously, the, the one issue we have got is the numbers, is just getting obviously players on the pitch. Um, and what we've, you can find just now is we've got quite a few that are probably needing a bit more work and quite a few that have been done quite a lot of the work. So yeah, it's trying to balance your training sessions to make sure that you you get the ones that work that they need it, but you don't overwork the ones that are, that are doing a lot. So, um, but during this 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 period, it's been good to get that time, um, spend some time with the players as well, because you know what it's like when you're preparing for games and games are coming thick and fast. It's just kind of you're in game mode and, and away you go. It's good to get a bit of time as well to spend getting around, chatting to the lads and, and getting to know them better as well. Let's talk about your relationship with Alex because it goes back a long, long way, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. 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 So we, we met at school, um, high school, first year in high school, um, and we became friends then. And obviously, we've been fortunate that both of us have managed to have a, a playing career and then go into coaching and, and now obviously work together. So it's a, a long friendship and a good friendship. Was football the common bond then when you when you first got to know each other? Yeah, it definitely was. And obviously, both of us enjoyed our football, and it was back then in Scotland the, the, age, the ages worked different. So although we're the same age and we were in the same year in school, Alex actually played a year above me. Yeah. Um, I think it was a September break-off point, and I was December and Alex was June. So Alec always played a year above until we got to about under 15s, 16s, and then we played in the same team from there. But football was the kind of the, the, the driving factor. And then later became teammates at Hamilton? Yeah, became teammates. Um, Alec was at Hamilton for a couple of years, and I was at, I think, at Gretna and, and Hibernian at that point. Um, and Alec had obviously mentioned about the opportunity to come to Hamilton. And I would go and watch a lot of the games. If I had a game on a Sunday or whatever, he was playing the Saturday. It was only 10 minutes up the road, so I would go and watch. So I got to know quite a lot of the players at Hamilton, knew the way they played, obviously knew Alec well. So when the opportunity to go there came up, um, I took that one and it was great, obviously, 10 years there as well. So it was a, a, great, a great choice for me. Quite ironic that when Alex moved on as manager of Hamilton to take up the opportunity at Norwich, it, it opened up the uh, the chance for you, didn't it? Yeah, that's right. It was uh, it kind of came out of the blue. I think everything happened quickly. Alec will tell you the same, obviously, from his side. Um, he was taking training one day, the next day he was almost gone, so it kind of happened quickly. I was coaching, I think, the under-17s and the 20s at that point. I was just starting to take the 20s, so I was kind of early on my, my coaching pathway. Um, when Alec left, the, the owner at Hamilton asked me if I would take the team, and I said yes. And Obviously, from there, I had four great years in terms of learning. Um, it was tough at times, obviously, being a small club in the Premier League. It was hard to... Every year felt like a grind, and it was it was difficult at times, but obviously success for us at that point was, was staying in the Premier League, which we managed to do. Um, but no, it was it was val invaluable in terms of experience as well for myself. Were you surprised when that opportunity came along so early in your coaching career? Yeah, probably I was, but I think it's one of those things. It's it's an opportunity that you might never get again, so it's one that you've got to kind of take when it comes along. Um, and I wasn't ready. There's, like at that point, I wasn't ready, but. You think to yourself, well, I'll either be ready or I won't, and you throw yourself into it. And, and fortunately for me, I managed to get four years and, like I say, a lot of experience, um, a lot of lessons learned, and, and obviously now it makes me a, a better coach and a better understanding as well of what a manager goes through having done the role. Um, I, I feel it's, again, more valuable in terms of helping Alex. What's the dynamic like with you and Alex? Is it nice cop, nasty cop, and who's who? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think, obviously, Alex, Alex is his own man. He knows what he's doing. He's very, he's very set in his own ways. Um, I think my personality is a little bit kind of more easy going. Um, so, but Alex is, is obviously he's intense. He's very good at what he does. Excellent at what he does, and obviously I'm there to support. And like I say, having been through it and, and done the role, you understand a lot more of what a manager does and, and what that role entails and how best to help. And understanding the pressures as well of management. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, totally different levels, but in terms of the size of club, obviously here. Um, there's a lot of pressure involved for Alec as well, although he takes that kind of thing and he's straight, he, he deals with that. 
Um, and like I say, for me, it's about making sure that I'm as supportive as can be.